What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of I Have No Idea What's Going On With My Life. I'm your host, Damn David. I'm here with my boy, Tex. And today, we got some work to do for real. Let's get into the video, baby. Roll the intro. They call me yellow because the paint is banana. The clip is banana. I'm going bananas. Look, boy, you a bitch. Get your phones together. Look at him. Didn't fuck with us when we was down. Now we coming up together. You can stay in the back because all up on track, we running it up together. You said we would flop. Now the gang at the top and we don't give a fuck together. The All right, but Nana's I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody loves the intro, man. But we're still walking. Nothing happened. I just put my hand on the shit. You know, it's, you know, a little bit of movie magic. But today we are doing something crazy on the channel. Something a little bit different. We're working on a box Chevy. So I know you guys normally see you know all the new types of cars like these and everything on my channel but i thought we would bring something crazy to the channel you know and uh we're gonna start rebuilding this car this is gonna be the first episode man let's just go ahead and uh appreciate this driveway man you got a lot of colors going on here man you know i try to keep it bright my boy vision wraps xo he wrapped this car man y'all go give him a follow man go hit him up he did a good job go get my boy tex hands a follow you guys have seen him on the channel you guys have seen him around let's go look at this box chevy real quick Bro. Hey. Chill. 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 <laughs> oh shit. There's a bigger one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, hey, 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 hey. Take it easy. Hey. Tranquilo, pero. Hey. I'm down. Holy shit. Hey man, you famous. This bitch was in Beethoven. Damn, why his tail look like that? I ain't scared of bro. What's up? Here she is, baby, the box Chevy. Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound. Look my post to say now, I've been humble too long, yeah. Tell them all to stay calm. Man, this is cool, man. Definitely out of my area, but something I'm excited as hell to work on. Um, there's a rod knock in the engine. You guys have never seen this car on my channel, but um, damn, definitely something crazy, man. I don't know, I've never, this car's older than I am, you know? So some of you guys are into classic cars and all that, but I just, I think it's gonna be something cool. And uh, it's gonna allow me to be more of a car guy because to be honest, you guys know, I work with a lot of shops and I do a lot of stuff on my car you know that's pretty simple but this is taking on a whole other project that's going to be completely diy we're not going to take it to any shops nothing like that we're going to try to diagnose it ourselves 100 percent and fix it 100 percent start to finish we're going to build it it's going to be unrecognizable once we're done with it it's going to be cool clean badass could be fast could be looking crazy I'm not sure, but it's gonna be a traction team car. With that being said, we gotta go to AutoZone. Like I said, the car has a rod knock. We gotta diagnose it. We gotta get some jack stands and some other stuff. If you guys want a little bit more of a backstory for the box Chevy and like more details about it, when he got it, how much he paid for it and everything like going on with it, be sure to go to Texan's channel and check it out. This is new to his channel as well. And um, I'll see you guys uh, here in a second. We're going to AutoZone. You ain't got nothing on us. I'm steady calling your bluff. Pass me the split. Need me a pub. You don't want smoke. Tell them that's We just got some basic tools and uh, everything we need. And you're down the line, we're just going to go kind of purchase and, and get it rocking. So I'll see you guys back at the shop. We spent 120 plus the jack we already got. The jack we got cost like 150 So what's that, 270 We had 270 y'all so far. Again, these are tools and things that you really don't need for the long run anyways. Just looking at it, this is what it looks like right here. What I'm gonna do is take pictures of everything and make sure it's super good. There could be a hurricane or any reason we um, you know, quit working on this car all of a sudden and we forget where everything went. So it's always a good idea to make sure you know where stuff goes. Well, let's go ahead and crank this shit up and show you that it does have a knocking sound. I'm not saying it's necessarily a knock. There's a few things it could be. What year is this car again, bro? 87. 87 box Chevy. Oh. That's got a good ring to it. We need to have a nickname for this, man. Y'all comment down in the comments what y'all want to name this shit. Look at this, man. Look at these seat belts. This shit is so dope. We're about to crank it to show you guys there is a knock. Let it quit beeping. There is a service engine uh, soon light that never goes away, so it could possibly be a knock. I'm gonna give it some gas. Yeah, 
I said slowly let that Holy bitch down. Holy shit. I did. Don't kill me, bitch. Holy I'm shit. Like, I wasn't under there for that reason. Holy shit. Uh-uh. But you see how the jack stand caught it? You good, bro. You good. I thought she was dead. Nah, you good, bro. You good. Jack stand's about to kill my bitch ass if you guys saw that. Holy shit. Yikes. I don't know. We gambling with our lives, y'all, for content. So I hope you guys enjoy the video because, you know, we should die, but it'll be all right. Update on the location of the jacks. We have changed them because... It just occurred to me where we have the jack right now, the motor is going to need to uh, be accessible in the future. So we're just going to leave it on these jack stands over here. So uh, right now I'm going to check, you know, the tightness between the exhaust on all the spots and make sure it is not an exhaust problem and completely eliminate uh, the possibility that it could be right now. I have checked the bottom and it has metric bolts. So it lets me know that somebody just did the exhaust and it honestly doesn't sound like it's coming from there. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the possibility that it's like header back problems. It sounds like it's more up here. What I'm going to do right now is tighten the headers. As you can see, just tighten these bolts on each side. Make sure it's all torqued. Make sure there's no exhaust leak. Start it up again. And if it's still ticking, we'll know it's nothing with exhaust. And uh, we can proceed to move on. Let's crank it up real quick and let's see if we hear the ticking. Most it. likely we will, but let's... For science. <laughs> for science. Yep, I'm already getting dirty, man. Day one, part one. I'm gonna go ahead and say it might be a lifter. So we need to take pictures of every single like inch of the engine bay, and then we'll take the heads off. All right, man, I'm with it. Everybody stop. Everybody stop what's going on. This is a big problem. There's no coolant in the coolant reservoir. Why did I just not notice that? And there's no cap, which that means that there's a few things, right? You could have drove it. You said you drove it 20, 30 minutes after you bought it, and there's no gauge to tell how hot it's getting. That could be bad. Actually, I think it is a gauge. That could have caused it. Nah, you that could have caused it, bro. That could have caused it. It could have not had a cap to begin with. It could have got hot and blew the cap off if there was air in it or something. Man, we're just going to run it through, bro. Hey. Oh, man. Okay, so... We got a whole other problem right here. Look, okay, go ahead and let's bro, go ahead and put water. It's empty, empty. That's what I'm saying. You like... drove it here without cooling, bro. So... It's not bubbling down, so I don't know what that means, but no cooling in there. This shit, I don't eat. We don't know what we're doing, but okay, but that's the point of everything we got going on right now. If you guys have suggestions, leave them in the comments. But um, you can hear it now. I'm gonna take a quick walk around the car to let you hear what it sounds like. Honestly, I think it might be a lifter. It could be anything, but with this coolant being like that, I don't even know if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know a damn thing. It could really be anything. But, um, shit, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. There's honestly so much work that needs to go into this car, and there's so much stuff that we still are unsure of and I don't know about, so we'll see. But we're just going to have to put it off to a part two, and uh, it's going to get dark on us in here soon, and we just got to... Man, we're just gonna take a look around and we just, we gotta figure out somewhere to start and that's gonna be part two. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and hit that red rectangle if you're trying to stick around the next crazy ass episode of this box Chevy or, oh my God, bro, I don't even know what's going on. And leave that eggplant in the comments if you thought this shit was sexy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all, peace.